Welcome to the World of ALF, a classic 1986 TV series that's more than just an extraterrestrial sitcom. Packed with a blend of humor, shockers, and heart-wrenching moments, this show has stood the test of time. What enduring qualities do you think make this TV series an everlasting symbol of the industry? Have you ever reminisced about the first time you caught a glimpse of the witty alien navigating the chaotic Tanner household? Alf's comedic antics and unexpected twists kept viewers hooked, leaving an indelible mark on those who tuned in. Now there's more to uncover funny, shocking, and sad facts await. So keep watching. Before you dive into this nostalgic journey, we're curious when was the first time you watched this TV series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show? We would love to hear from you. Stay tuned for a trip down memory lane as we explore the layers of ALF's impact on television history. Your experiences add depth to this narrative. Let the storytelling begin and remember, your thoughts matter. In the vibrant tapestry of 1980s television, a captivating creature emerged that transcended the ordinary. Picture a small suburban household where the routine is disrupted by an unexpected arrival. It's not an alien invasion or a cosmic threat, but rather a wise, cracking extraterrestrial being with a penchant for mischief. This is the essence of the 1986 TV series ALF, a show that left an indelible mark on the era. ALF, short for alien life form, crash landed into living rooms across the nation, bringing with him a unique blend of humor, heart, and a touch of intergalactic oddity. Created by Paul Fusco and Tom Patchett, this sitcom wasn't just another sitcom. It was a testament to the creativity and imagination of its time. Set against the backdrop of the 1980s, a bustling era marked by cultural shifts and technological advancements, Alabama F stood out for its ability to resonate with audiences of all ages. The character's fish-out-of-water predicament mirrored the societal changes and challenges of the era, making him not just an extraterrestrial visitor, but a mirror reflecting the complexities of the human experience. His significance extended beyond comedic elements. He served as a lens through which viewers could explore themes of family, friendship, and acceptance. The show wasn't merely about an alien trying to adapt to Earth. It was about the universal quest for connection and belonging. As viewers laughed at his misadventures and witty one-liners, they found a relatable figure navigating the intricacies of life. Whether raiding the refrigerator or dispensing his peculiar brand of wisdom, Alabama F became a beloved character, transcending the screen to become a cultural icon. In an era filled with a plethora of television options, he managed to carve a niche for himself, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to resonate with fans today. The show's enduring charm lies not just in its humor, but in the way it captured the essence of a specific moment in time. With his distinctive charm and quirks, Alabama F became more than just a character. He became a companion in the journey through the landscape of 1980s television. So, as we embark on a nostalgic trip back to the era of shoulder pads and neon lights, let's not forget the endearing extraterrestrial who made us laugh and taught us a thing or two about the human experience. The 1986 TV series Alabama F left an enduring impact on the television landscape and influenced subsequent shows and media in various ways. Its unique premise, featuring an extraterrestrial being living with a suburban family, paved the way for unconventional narratives that blended humor and heart. During its time, the show found its place among other sitcoms of the era, distinguishing itself through the alien element and witty writing. While some contemporaneous shows shared a focus on family dynamics, its sci-fi twist set it apart. The comparisons with other sitcoms highlight its ability to carve a niche within a bustling TV landscape. ALF's success wasn't confined to the small screen as its impact extended to movies and other forms of media. The character's popularity transcended the show itself, making him a recognizable figure in popular culture. This influence is evident in subsequent sci-fi and family-oriented productions that embraced unconventional characters and humor. The show's clever blend of humor and emotional moments set a precedent for later productions to explore the multifaceted nature of storytelling. Its influence on character-driven narratives, particularly those involving extraterrestrial or fantastical elements, became a testament to its enduring appeal. In retrospect, Alabama's influence can be seen in the way it opened doors for creators to experiment with unique concepts, challenging the conventional norms of television storytelling. 
Its legacy is not just in its initial run, but in the ripple effect it had on shaping the narrative landscape of subsequent TV shows and media. In conclusion, Alabama's impact on television and media is unmistakable, having left an indelible mark on the creative landscape. The show's ability to blend humor with unconventional storytelling continues to resonate in the annals of TV history, influencing creators and captivating audiences alike. Ranked at 8 in TV Guide's 25 Greatest Sci-Fi Legends, the character found his place on one of three collectible covers. However, tensions escalated during the fourth season, leading to a dramatic incident on set. Max Wright, frustrated, attacked the puppet, expressing his frustration with the words, put us all on sticks. We're all puppets. Interestingly, Paul Fusco and Beverly Archer are the sole actors to grace both this series and Project ALF. Their unique distinction adds a layer to the narrative, connecting the two productions in an unusual way. As the series unfolds, it delves into behind-the-scenes dynamics, offering a glimpse into the challenges faced during its production. Paul Fusco and Beverly Archer's dual appearances bridged the gap between two related projects, shaping a narrative that extends beyond the confines of the screen. In the world of television, where collaborations and conflicts shape the final product, Alabama F stands as a testament to the intricacies of production dynamics. These anecdotes peel back the curtain, revealing moments that, though challenging, contribute to the series' unique narrative. On set, tensions ran high during the production of the TV series. Max Wright and Ann Skadeen openly acknowledged the challenging atmosphere. The demanding technical requirements and lengthy shooting schedules led to dissatisfaction among the cast, who found themselves playing supporting roles to a puppet with the best lines. Notably, the show was a costly endeavor for its time, ranking among the most expensive 30-minute sitcoms. The intricate technical elements and extended taping sessions contributed to the high production costs. In an effort to offset expenses, NBC strategically licensed the character for various merchandising opportunities, including toys, breakfast cereal, and an animated TV series. The creative team added a unique touch to the show by incorporating names of Melmatian holidays and currencies drawing from the surnames of crew members. This subtle nod added an extra layer of connection between the behind-the-scenes crew and the fictional world portrayed on screen. As we delve into the intricacies of ALF's production, these insights shed light on the challenges faced by the cast and crew. From the strained on-set dynamics to the financial considerations, the series' journey extends beyond its episodes. In Germany, the TV series gained swift popularity, causing a predicament for the city of Alf along the Moselle River. The city's name, featured on stolen signs, prompted the council to mass-produce replacements for sale. Initially depicting the character consuming alcohol, the show altered its content to align with NBC's push for a more family-friendly approach. This adjustment reflected the network's influence on the program's thematic choices. The show's creator, Paul Fusco, not only provided the voice, but also operated the puppet. The use of distinct puppets controlled by multiple puppeteers depended on the shot requirements. When limited to the upper body, a two-puppet setup sufficed. However, full body shots, including the feet, featured a puppet with a human inside. Notably, actor Mihaly Michu Mesozaros, standing at two feet, nine inches, occasionally wore a costume, contributing to the diverse methods employed for on-screen representation. These insights into the show's German success, thematic modifications, and puppetry techniques offer a closer look at the multifaceted aspects of its production, delving beyond the onset tensions and financial considerations previously explored. Before its pilot aired, the 1986 TV series ALF garnered significant anticipation, heavily promoted as a potential breakthrough. Despite marginal ratings and mixed reviews in the first season, NBC considered canceling it, but licensing agreements tied to the ALF character kept the show afloat. In his memoir, Permanent Midnight, Jerry Stahl, a television writer on the show, alongside Moonlighting and Third of Something, detailed his success while battling heroin addiction. The memoir inspired the movie Permanent Midnight, featuring Ben Stiller as Stahl. The film showcased scenes on the set of the series, renamed Mr. Chompers, offering a glimpse into Stahl's nightmarish drug-induced hallucination involving the puppet from the show. To safeguard the show's secrets and accommodate technical demands, it was taped on a closed studio set without a live audience. 
A laugh track was employed to create the illusion of a live audience, adding to the unique production approach. The unaired pilot of the 1986 TV series ALF hit the screens in the United States on August 10, 2004. Paul Fusco, the series producer, lent his voice to the titular character. Meanwhile, Max Wright, known for vocalizing Curse You Hussein, on set, drew parallels between the challenging conditions and Saddam Hussein's Iraq. Fusco's dual role as producer and voice, coupled with Wright's outspoken moments, added layers to the show's behind-the-scenes dynamics. The character, known for his peculiar dietary habits, boasts a remarkable eight stomachs. This quirky detail adds a unique layer to his persona, reflecting the creative intricacies woven into the show's fabric. Paul Fusco, the mastermind behind ALF, drew inspiration for the character's distinctive voice from Rolf, the dog from The Muppet Show. Fusco's keen choices in shaping his character contribute to the distinctive charm of the series. In the 1980s, Paul Fusco demonstrated a steadfast commitment to the integrity of ALF's image. Despite lucrative offers from major brands like Burger King, Coca-Cola, and Budweiser, Fusco turned down several endorsements, underscoring his dedication to maintaining the character's authenticity. This principled stance highlights Fusco's unwavering vision for the show, transcending the potential financial gains that could have altered its trajectory. These behind-the-scenes insights into ALF's character traits, vocal origins, and the creator's principled decisions provide a glimpse into the nuanced elements that contribute to the show's distinct identity.